Hey there, handsome. You probably heard that for Pride Month, I'm gay now. <laughs> Come here, you little sedulous minx. I want to run my 40 hands through your extremely full hair. You can tell he didn't mean it because he said I have full hair. <laughs> Godric, are you okay? Did you just flush the toilet? Hey, Doug. Last night was great. Fun way to kick off Pride Month. <laughs> I'm sore in places I've never been. Okay, all right. We should go rock climbing again sometime. Let's avoid explicitly implying that I've ravaged you sexually, okay? Let's keep it moderately PG. It simply said rock climbing. Maybe I'm just a pervert, but I'm pretty sure there was more implied there. Let's just re remember that this is a Christian family virgin, virgin stream for virgin babies. <laughs> God damn, Doug, you's looking mighty fine today. Can't wait for dinner tonight, especially that dessert. Mmm, wink. I don't like the sexualization of Godric. I'm fine with chat being weird, just in moderation. These messages have been fine. The concern is that, as you maybe are aware, and this is a wild thing, maybe I'm way off here, but sometimes Twitch chat takes things too far. And so my concern is that the messages have been right on the verge of being fine, I think, but I just want to be clear not to keep pushing it. I don't know why you're embarrassed Taunting about our relationship. No, no, don't fucking taunt! You and Melina broke up anyway. Secondly, you ravaging me is a joke. We both know you're a bottom. Okay, this is what I mean. We don't need to keep pushing this line of joke. We are right at the line. Don't go over the line. One of my arms is a fish. I'm gonna kiss your dad with my weird fish arm. Okay, see this- This is your fair warning. It's going to happen. This is- We're, ah. we're right on the line. This could be the one time where Twitch chat doesn't take yeah, the joke too far. Stuff. This could be it. You could like stop the joke right at the line before it goes too far. We could show restraint. It could happen. Imagine today we create Doug Doug history by not taking a joke too far. Think of the thrill of the historical moment. You would be here. This would be bigger than any other accomplishment on this stream ever. Hold the line. Yeah. I sometimes wonder how many cocks Godric has. That is actually a good question. Presumably you would graft on a shitload more, right? You may as well. That one's not cross the line. That's just a legit question. If you could graft penises to your body, would you? Would that guy? Probably, yeah. But if you grafted additional dicks to yourself, would you focus them on one spot or spread them all around? That's such a good question. I think I'd angle them all outwards like a bush. One spot. Like you would just extend them. You'd use ultra hand and just stack them on. My boobies, my massive fucking titties. See, my I feel super like the line up milkies, right here. I feel like you're going. Doinky, boinkies, I feel like you're here now. My fucking I feel like we, we've been here. Stretching wind flapping. And then gravity, and then you're here right now. Mounts. You know what I mean? Do you mean these super duper ultra goddamn motherfucking tits? I feel like we're just we're just we're just a little past. The line has been annihilated. We can recover. I believe in us. Okay, but if I apparently have multiple dicks, then don't I also have multiple butts? Which one do I shit out of? All of them? Hold the line. That is a good question, though. It's true that if you were to graft a lot of buttholes on yourself, where would the poop go? Doug, I very much appreciate our non-sexual romantic relationship Thank based you. on mutual respect and appreciation with plenty of hugs, cuddles, and forehead kisses. Yes. A sexual pride, a sexual pride. The asexuals are helping us hold the line. Personal Personally, I would graft one or two of the dicks on my forehead like horns to assert dominance. Plus, it would give a whole new meaning to the word horny. The issue with attaching a penis to your forehead is that when it's not hard, it'll hang down in your face, blocking your vision. Personally, I prefer the chindu having a penis attached to the chin. That's fine. We're still on the line. I mean, because that's a fair point, right? You have to admit that's just, a, re that's just a reasonable if thing. If I to... have multiple butts, then when I spin around and fight, do my cheeks clap and slap around? That's not too far. That's fine. That's just a god honest question about what would happen if you did have multiple buttholes. That's a perfectly reasonable conversation. I'm going to bring the stream back to its Christian friendly origins. Good. Here's a reading from Ezekiel. She lusted after their male consorts. Okay. Whose sexual organs were like those of donkeys. You could And whose ejaculation was like that of horses. <laughs> God, back to a family-friendly channel. Perfect. We've retreated from the line. Hey, Doug, want to go eat pancakes at IHOP with me? This is very non-sexual as I find you physically repulsive, but funny enough to hang out with for like an hour or so, <laughs> as long as you don't talk too much. Okay, we don't need to make the line that far back. I think discussion about grafted dick placement is not crossing the line. These are important questions. That said, Black there is a benefit a real to putting them soul. all on one spot, because you could perform the maneuver known as shotgun pissing. 
thing. The shotgun piss is a cool maneuver, but I'm partial to the Gatling piss. I did have to graft a crank mechanism onto my penises, though. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, chat, for all your interest in my body. I won't give any exact amounts, of course. Even unconventionally beautiful hunks like myself have some dignity. These games don't give you, like, a lot of concrete lore to go off of, so it really works to just have chat's imagination fill in the gaps. Serious question. For understanding lore purposes, I stole arms to gain power? How much power does one-man meat pole add comparatively? Do I only have man parts or also cool epic woman orifices, too? Okay, we're definitely not going into woman orifices. That is way past the line. <laughs> not because there's anything wrong with women orifices, because I don't trust certain people here at all to talk about that in any kind of uh, coherent, measured way. Now that our relationship is back within the line, I was wondering if you wanted to switch it up and fist each other behind no. the Carl's Jr. You can even bring your whip and I'll call you daddy. We're back over the line. Ah, 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 penis. And with that, I think we've reached that perfect ending to a Doug Doug stream where it's been not that funny for like an hour and a half. We're now ready to go home.